You know, there's a huge shift happening in cybersecurity right now, a real revolution. We're moving away from the old ways of just spotting problems to a much, much smarter and more strategic approach. So in this explainer, we're going to break down what that actually means and why it is changing absolutely everything. And this quote, this just nails the core problem, doesn't it? It's not that security teams are starved for information. Far from it. They are literally drowning in it. They're just flooded with alerts, which makes it almost impossible to know what's a minor hiccup versus what's a five-alarm fire. So how do we fix this mess? Well, here's our roadmap for today. We're going to start by unpacking why the old methods just aren't working anymore. Then we'll get into the new strategy of exposure management, look at the cool tools that make it possible, walk through the whole process, and then finally, we'll tie it all back to why this should matter to you and your business. All right, first up, the problem of vulnerability overload. Let's really dig into why the traditional way of handling cybersecurity just isn't cutting it in today's world. This right here, this is the daily reality for most security operations centers. It's not about needing more things to fix. It's about needing to cut through the noise of this endless laundry list to find the one or two threats that could actually bring the entire business to its knees. And it really all comes down to a fundamental change in timing, in rhythm. The old way was just slow. You do these periodic scans, maybe once a quarter. But the threat landscape? That thing moves at the speed of light. So the new reality demands continuous management because, let's be honest, a quarterly snapshot is already out of date the second you take it. And think about the danger this creates. A clever attacker could have a 12-week head start. These periodic scans create these huge, gaping windows of opportunity for the bad guys because, as the quote says, they are definitely not waiting around for your next scheduled report. Okay, so if the old way is broken, what's the fix? That brings us to our new strategic paradigm, shifting to exposure management. And it's so important to get this. This isn't just a new tool. It is a completely new way of thinking about security. The official name for it is Continuous Threat Exposure Management, or CTEM. Now, the two key words you really got to focus on here are continuous and business impact. This thing is a perpetual cycle. It doesn't just look at a vulnerability in a vacuum. It asks the bigger, smarter questions. What's our unique business context? What's the threat landscape look like right now? What regulations are we dealing with? And only then can it figure out what truly matters. This slide really lays out the transformation perfectly. First, you're ditching those periodic scans for a continuous cycle. Second, you're taking that impossible job of manually figuring out what's important and handing it over to AI. And third, and this is huge, you stop seeing all these isolated little problems and you start seeing the big picture, how an attacker could actually connect all these different puzzle pieces to create a real world breach. Now, a new strategy is great in theory, but you need the right tech to actually make it happen, right? So that brings us to section three and the tools of the trade, exposure assessment platforms, or EPS. And the arrival of these platforms, well, it wasn't just some quiet little update. It was marked by a landmark milestone that sent a massive signal across the entire cybersecurity industry. And here it is. Gartner, probably the most respected tech research firm out there, rolled out its first ever magic quadrant for exposure assessment platforms. But here's the kicker, the really significant part, this new guide officially replaced their long-standing guide for vulnerability assessment. Basically, the industry's most influential umpire just declared the old game over. So what makes these EAPs so different? If I had to pick one word, it's context. Before, all you had was a weakness and some generic severity score. Now, the platform analyzes everything, the likelihood of a breach, how valuable that asset is, and the potential hit to your bottom line. It finally connects security directly to real business risk. Okay, so we've got the strategy and we've got the tools. In section four, let's put it all together and actually walk through the CTEM process itself. A mature CTEM program follows these five stages. It kicks off with scoping, you know, deciding what's in and what's out. Then you've got discovery, prioritization, validation, and finally, mobilization. And the most important thing to see on this slide is that arrow. This isn't a one-and-done project. It's a continuous loop that just keeps going. And this is where that EAP platform really becomes the engine for the whole process. It automates those three critical stages right in the middle. It handles the discovery by building a complete inventory of all your assets. 
it powers the prioritization using AI to map out attack paths, and it helps with validation through things like simulated red team exercises. It's the powerhouse of the whole operation. Okay, let's bring this all home with our final section. Why does any of this matter to you? What's the tangible business impact of making this kind of strategic shift? This is really where the rubber meets the road. EDPs don't make you rip out and replace everything. They integrate with the security tools you already have. They pull all that data into one single place. They eliminate all of the noise by focusing only on what matters to the business. And they even use generative AI to give plain English explanations to help already stretched teams act faster. It's a direct answer to common headaches like tool sprawl and alert fatigue. And if you're looking for a hard number to really quantify the impact of all this, here it is, 30%. So here's the full story behind that number. Gartner predicts that by 2027, organizations that make this shift will see 30% less unplanned downtime from cyber attacks. And as any business leader will tell you, unplanned downtime is a massive, massive cost. So turning that into planned uptime, that is a huge win. So we'll end with this question for you to think about. When you look at your security reports today, what are you really seeing? Are you just looking at a long list of potential vulnerabilities, or do you have a clear, prioritized picture of your organization's actual, real-world risk? Because the answer to that question is going to define the future of your security posture.